everyone, my name is Emily, and this is my review of Prong Watercolors. Now what's a little bit confusing about the Prong Watercolor set is that they look like any other cheap kids brand of watercolors. They fit right in with the Rose Arts and the Crayolas of the world. The most common way you'll find these packaged are in oval full pans. They do come in square half pans as well, but these are a little less common to find. The design of the packaging in itself is not very unique. It looks very similar to the Crayola brand watercolors. However, I would argue that the plastic that is used is a little bit thicker and a little bit more sturdy. Let us liken back to a time when you would open your brand new Crayola watercolors and the hinges of the case would just bust and your whole fucking day would be ruined. The prong watercolor case is probably not going to do that on its first open. You'd have to really take it through some wear and tear to break these hinges. Another thing I liked about the packaging is that it gave you plenty of space to mix the colors. You have a nice broad open spot and a few sectioned off spots as well. The plastic lid will stain with some of the darker colors but not so intensely that it will hinder your ability to mix colors on top of said stains. The pans that contain the actual watercolors themselves are amazing. They are very firm polymer plastic. I feel like with most watercolor sets, the actual pan is a very flimsy, disposable kind of plastic, and this is just nowhere near that low of a quality. And yes, the pans can be removed and switched around. The watercolors themselves are a semi-moist blend. This means they remain tacky long after you've left them to dry. And by tacky, I mean kind of sticky, not like a cheetah print pantsuit. Now, because the colors that were included in my eight pan set are not labeled, I went ahead and named them after popular paint names that have similar color compositions. Not all of these are 100% spot on, but they were as close as I could get. So the standard set of eight oval pans comes with a carmine red, a cadmium orange, a cadmium yellow, a viridian, a phthalo blue, a dioxazine violet, a burnt sienna, and an ivory black. The color selection overall is very nice, though I wouldn't have included a black if I had the choice. I can't be too nitpicky because I'd rather have just a black taking up one space than a black and a white taking up two. The black is incredibly dark and acts almost like an ink and could even work as something to outline your piece with, so it's not a total waste. Every single color is beautifully pigmented and they blend very well with one another. I found that after mixing three shades or more, the color wanted to muddy up a bit but nothing too substantial. Something that really took me by surprise with these watercolors is the way they bloom. Anytime they came into contact with freshly laid down water, they just wanted to explode. The only other watercolors I've seen do this are the Schmincke Hortum and the Core watercolors. I've never seen colors bloom like this. I was so incredibly shocked and surprised and thrilled. It's like somebody in the Prong watercolor factory was like, let's throw pop rocks in this bitch and see what happens. What's another really nice touch about this brand opposed to its competitors is once you lay it down on the page, it stays on the page. If you lay down an orange and you scrub your fingers over it, you are not gonna look like you've been eating Cheetos all day. It's gonna stay on the page. It's not gonna rub off onto your fingers no matter how hard you rub. However, if you go in with water and try to remove color that way or leave like a slight stain behind, it works swimmingly. I just think that is a very good quality to have in any watercolors. Of course, each color is going to be different, but they don't really stain like crazy. They are fairly easy to pick back up off the page so long as you scrub at it with a wet brush or Q-tip or finger or what have you. Now, if you guys didn't already know this, these watercolors are very inexpensive. The eight pan set that I have runs anywhere between four to seven dollars US deep depending on where you buy it. Just like the Crayola or Rose Art brands, they are very affordable, but unlike the Crayola or Rose Art brands, there is clearly a lot of thought put into these paints. Now that I've spoiled you with all the sugary goodness about these wonderful paints, here's a little bit of a kicker. The biggest con is that they are not light fast. These watercolors are not really meant for paintings for you to hang up on your walls. These are great for practice for beginners. These are even great for things inside your sketchbook. I think anyone from elementary level to college level can use these watercolors very successfully. It's very clear that Dixon was trying to do something different with prong watercolors.
others, trying to set them apart from their competitors. And that something is level of quality. There is something about these watercolors that is just very, very simply made for the everyday artist, the artist on the go, the artist in the studio, the artist that is a single parent, the artist that has to go to school full time, the artist that has to work two jobs. It's just for the every artist. And that's why I love these watercolors so much. It's very clear that a lot of thought went into them. They're not made from cheapy, plasticky, throwaway stuff. They're made from very decent quality materials. They are very affordable and accessible. You can pretty much find them at any Target, at any drugstore or art store, and even if they're not available in your country, they are not hard to find online and they're still not expensive even if you have to pay a little bit of shipping. They're just for everyone. Now unfortunately I can't really give these watercolors an overall score because compared to things like the Schmingo Hordum watercolors or the Core watercolors, they kind of pale in comparison even with their high pigment and their beautiful semi-moist pans. They just are not comparable to professional watercolors or even some student grade but for their price range and for their grade, I give them a 10 out of 10, 100% A+. I don't think you will ever find watercolors that are as good as these guys for this price. Anyway, if you haven't already, I really suggest you subscribe and become a part of our big Artful family. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later.